Hey guys, Ivan here, so the pre-judging of the Mr. Olympia Open Division has wrapped up and we got some really interesting things to talk about. Now, we had the exact same top three like last year, Derek, Samson and Hadi. It was very much expected, some people thought it might be Andrew Jack who cracks the top three, but uh, most of us didn't see it that way. Now, as far as these three guys, is it gonna be the same order like last year? I don't think so. Honestly, I think Samson moved up. And I think Hadi may have went down. You're gonna see it in a second in the video, but basically the live stream at this show was probably the worst live stream of all the shows this entire year. And it was like $80. Uh, the background, they improved the background from last year. It wasn't as flashy and as colorful. So at least there was that. But the lighting... And the quality of the footage, horrible, horrible, man, you're gonna see in a second. Now, the reason why I think Hadi may have moved down is because he, he failed to bring the conditioning that he brought to the Arnold Classic stage. I think he was even worse than last year at the Mr. Olympia. His back wasn't as tight, look at his lower back, like it wasn't a dry, it wasn't tight. Same thing with the glutes, same thing with the hamstrings. Uh, for those of you guys who were saying that I don't know what I'm talking about when I said that Hadi might be panicking, that the reason why he's not showing his physique is because he wasn't in good shape, yeah, yeah, I guess I was right, there was something to it. So Hadi, even though he's okay, he is not in his Arnold Classic conditioning and looking like this, he is not going to win the Mr. Olympia. However, Samson Dauda surprised me honestly he surprised me i don't think he was ever in this kind of conditioning at a mr olympia so because of his uh, size and his height and his front poses i think he may have closed the gap with Derek lansford and there is a slight possibility of him beating Derek and winning the mr olympia that's a possibility would i bet on it no no i think i think Derek is still winning but I think Samson is close. In my opinion, right now, Samson is second. That's the way I see it, guys. Andrew Jack uh, seems to have failed to deliver the conditioning. This was not the best Andrew Jack we ever saw. He was better at Texas Pro, honestly. Uh, and uh, he is definitely out of top three. Maybe not even Ford. Maybe Martin Fitzwater and Hunter Labrada can take him out. You're going to see that in a moment as well. But uh, yeah, maybe that injury, that ab tear, prevented him from doing things that he would normally do. And maybe that's why he's off with conditioning. He said it, it messed with him mentally. So even though he's not out, it may have affected him. Now, as far as him cracking the top three, uh, yeah, it's not going to happen because of the back pose and the side pose. You're going to see that in a moment. He's just not complete enough. Uh, no matter how big of a fan of Andrew you are and you like his physique and this and that, from the side and from the back, you can see big gaps, like I expected. All right, so let's start with the second callout, actually. In the second callout, we had, at first, Martin Fitzwater right in the center, which kind of means that he's beating Andrew Jack. Is that really the case? If you guys watched the live stream and you had your headphones on, you may have heard the judges speaking, and I heard Steve Weinberger say a couple of uh, interesting things here. Actually, it was a battle between Martin and Andrew for fourth, and he gave some shots to Andrew, some shots to Martin. Uh, I think Martin kind of faded away after, after a while, and they moved uh, Andrew in the center later, and Hunter is also in the mix, so anything is possible. Uh, but like in this first round right here, it kind of did look like uh, Martin is beating all of these guys. I mean, Hunter is massive. I underestimated Hunter as well. Like he is not placing eight. You know, he's either gonna be fourth, fifth, or sixth. So Hunter is definitely stay staying in that uh, top six. I think he posed much better with his midsection. But uh, Martin is just more complete because his midsection is better. His back is also a lot better. You can see right here. And uh, his lower body from behind, glutes and hamstrings, he's destroying Andrew Jacked in that department. So for those of you guys uh, who said that I'm crazy for saying that Martin can beat Andrew Jacked, there you go. It was a possibility and it very well may happen actually. However, later they actually moved uh, Andrew to the center, so I think Andrew is still going to place higher. He's probably going to be fourth, but anything is possible. And in that top eight, we actually did have Rafael Brandau and William Bonek, 
leaving John Jewett, John De La Rosa and Brendan Curry to battle for the top 10 spot. At first when I was watching this I actually thought John Jewett was winning this comparison. I thought he was even beating William Bonner. Well that's probably because I'm a huge fan of John Jewett and I just wanted to see him do well. But no, no, they actually moved William Bonner up in the second callout. And as far as this callout, I think it may be John Jewett who actually is winning this one. So John Jewett may actually place 9th unless Brendan Curry beats him, in that case he's going to be 10th, I don't see John De La Rosa beating John Jewett, so John Jewett is most likely going to crack the top 10 at his first Mr. Olympia and really hat for the guy. Now as far as Brandon Curry, he, he I mean, he was okay, like size-wise he was there, but definitely the worst we have ever seen Brandon, especially like as far as details in the quads from the front, uh, you're gonna see they were completely washed up, and like the legs from behind, I mean everywhere basically, he wasn't in good condition, but like also this lighting here and the live stream were so horrible, uh, unless you had these guys to compare him with, you wouldn't know what kind of condition he's in, I mean it's impossible to tell, uh, you can't see anything, during the posing routines I couldn't figure out anything, because these guys, they all looked horrible, the lighting, the worst lighting, I mean why is this $80, I don't get it, I mean yeah it's Mr. Olympia, and I guess the, the ticket to watch it in person should be expensive, but for the live stream, they should just give it away, because this is, this is horrible, this is disastrous. Alright, now let's move on to the top 3 comparison, like I said, I don't think Hardy brought it. You know, if he wanted to win this show, he needed to be in that Arnold Classic conditioning, which I don't see happening here. No, no I don't think he's in that kind of conditioning. He's probably similar to what he brought last year. I don't think his physique melted or anything like that, you know, he's still in his usual shape, but conditioning-wise, he is not as conditioned as he could have been. And if he was in the Arnold Classic conditioning, he would have won this show, but I guess his body burned out a little bit more from competing uh, that much and he couldn't deliver. And I, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, that's the way it seemed based on like how much cardio he was doing. He was doing cardio like the day before the show. He was doing crazy leg days at like three days out. And it seems like he was panicking. Now, as far as uh, Derek and Samson, man, I, I, I underestimated Samson as well. I did not expect him to be this good. Now, of course, he is not in condition as, as Derek from behind. You know, his glutes are definitely not on that level. But I think they are better than have ever been. And with his height and size, I mean, there is a slight possibility they actually want to see a bigger man win the title. But Derek is a massive man. Like, yeah, he's short, but he is a, a massive bodybuilder. He's actually super wide, super thick from the side. Like, it's gonna be very difficult for Samson to dethrone him, even though I want to see that happen. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of Samson. I, I would like to cheer for him here, but yeah, I still think uh, Derek did enough to maintain his Mr. Olympia title. Here is a shot where Derek loses to both Hardy and Samson, but is that going to be enough for these guys to beat him? No, no, he's definitely beating everybody. He's actually like leaving a large gap between these two guys uh, from behind, you know, he's destroying them from behind and he's matching them quite nicely from the front, so uh, again, I think Derek did enough. Now here they actually put Samson in the center, which doesn't mean anything, they also put Hadi in the center later, uh, they wanted to give us something to watch, you know, to make it more exciting, not to be sure what's gonna happen. Uh, again, Samson from the front, I mean, I like him, I really like him, I like his silhouette, I like his uh, small waist, uh, his height, his size, uh, even, even side pose, like Samson is very good in the side chest, look at the width of the shoulders, look at just the size, compare him to Samson, you know, I want to find something to say that uh, Samson is going to win this, but then when they turn around, it slides out. It slides out. You can give your arguments, you can you can make it... Look at this, <laughs> Samson disappeared. This is how bad the lighting was. You can't even see him with his ba black background here. He completely disappeared. I don't know if it was different in person. I hope the judges could actually see what they're judging, but in the live stream, horrible, man. Now, once again, you know, in the front shots, you can make arguments for Samson winning uh, or even for Hari, maybe. Personally, I don't see Hari placing a first here, no. I can see maybe Hari beating Samson, maybe. But I don't think so. I think Samson's gonna play second. And I think Derek, again, did enough to stay the Mr. Olympia. 
Well, at least that is the way I see it. There was also something wrong with Hadi's chest. I don't know if it was just a cramp or something else, maybe an injury, I don't know, but his chest kind of looked like this the whole time. And as far as Derek making improvements, I think he was maybe slightly improved, I think maybe his uh, leg fullness was a little bit better, maybe his back was even more impressive, but uh, those are not huge improvements. I think Samson is the most improved bodybuilder here, I think he was at his driest, his leanest, and uh, again, I think there is a possibility to see Samson win, I'm pretty sure he's going to be at least second, most likely Derek is winning and Hadi I believe is firmly in third. That's the way I see it guys, if you see it otherwise, tell me down below in the comment section for more Mr. Olympia updates for the finals, for the classic physique, and then after Mr. Olympia for a whole bunch of post-Olympia videos, guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best and bye bye.